you got to stay right there. I don't see no beds. Be in the bow. Oh, 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 Let's make it make sense. Be in the bow. Oh, you got to be in the bow. Hey, now let's see some beds. They got me on EBT. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to Deep South Cutlery. Sitting here today on a cold Monday. And check out what we got here on the block. This is a cool 1980. Texas Lockback. Lockhorn, what do they call them? Lockhorn? Longhorn. Lockback, check it out. I don't know what you do with that thing, but that's cool. Kind of like a locking big muskrat, I guess you'd call it. 1980. What we really want to show you today, which that is a cool knife, still a valuable knife. We're glad we got it here in the shop. But when you're buying knives, uh, a few weeks ago we run the one on the fake case. Also be careful on, on, on reading all the small details, looking at the pictures as good as you can, because sometimes some people, I'm not gonna say they'll do it intentionally, but they will misrepresent knives. Not tell the whole truth. Yeah, right? not tell the whole truth. Uh, not tell all the all the, the holes in it. So this thing is cool, and, and then we bought it in what the guy said in good condition. Once again, we're not blaming nobody. Yeah. It ultimately falls back on us uh, doing our due diligence. Not blaming anybody, not casting any stones by no means because we have messed up. Don't try to, but we're all human. We all mess up. But I want you to look at this thing. From a distance, it looks really good. Let's bring it up here closer. You can see that the blades have been sharpened, sharpened pretty good. Now, in my opinion, I'm not an expert like some other of you guys are, but uh, when one has been sharpened, it takes it from good to okay condition. Right. At the very best, a sharpened blade can be okay condition. Now, you get an older knife, like this thing's 44, 45 years old now. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them's gonna be sharpened. You get a bunch of the 60s, 70s. If you get a 20-something model knife, which I've got a 20-something model jack up there, yeah, it's gonna be sharpened. These guys didn't buy them to sit them on the wall like we do. But this thing has been sharpened pretty good, but here's the worst part. Check out that. Somebody did some engraving. On the bolster. On the bolster. In the picture, it was not represented yeah. that way. On the was. picture, here's how it was shown. This side of the knife. So that was our fault for not looking on the, you know, not There's asking. no badge on it, yeah. so you can't tell which, which yeah. side you're looking at. See that? And uh, like I said, once again, please don't think we're trying to cast stones at nobody, but uh, those are the little things that we look for. Y'all, we've got way over two bills in this knife, and if it was in good condition, we could get our money back. As it sits, that one's gonna sit on the wall a long <laughs> time. Here, yeah. I'm gonna have to stick it in our own pocket, but all in all, it's a cool piece. Unless Mitchell Davis decides he wants Mitchell it. may want it. <laughs> Mitchell Sam wants this thing. <laughs> you guys who watch the auction know what we're it's talking about. It's on the bottom too, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did that. Look at this. So they did it across the springs. They did some etching across Grinding the springs. or something across the springs, which weakens the knife. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's some foundational issues there, yeah. really, ain't it? But just, just when you're buying, do your due diligence here at Deep South Cutlery. I will say this, we we try our best not to rep mis misrepresent the knives, especially the old vintage knives. If we do, hey, let us know, and I promise you this, we're gonna do everything that we can to make it right with you, uh, because we don't like this happening to us. We don't want it to happen to you. So do your homework, just like that fake case, do your homework, check it out, look at the pictures really good, especially if you're buying on eBay, uh, sites such as that. Look at real well, and once again, if it seems too good to be true, what is it, Bobby? It probably is. It probably is. Ninety-five percent of the, or hundred, eight, ninety-nine percent of the of the, the the sellers on eBay are, are good, honest folks. Yeah. And and this this like I said, this guy didn't. Uh, it was more. It's, it's my fault. Okay. Yeah. It's my fault for not go, looking at it in depth. It's not a. It's not a good. It's not in good condition. No. It's been in fair condition, and uh, but still. It's a unique knife. I like it. Open them blades up and show it up there too. Looks like a longhorn cow when you set yeah. it on the magnet. Where's the University of, University of Texas people? University of Texas people. Look at that. They about to be like in the SEC. They have something to be proud of now, yeah. don't they? <laughs> Sometimes when you when you see something rare, you get so excited. You, yeah. You don't you don't think about. All you do is want it. You know and that's just human nature. So. Still rare to come by. Maybe we can break even. Uh, if not, we'll we'll uh, we'll sit here and and enjoy it on the walls here at the Deep South Cabin. Y'all like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook, join us for our Thursday night live auction. Look forward to seeing you there. Starts at six o'clock central time every Thursday night, good Lord willing. 
Until next time, guys, be careful what you're looking for, but happy hunting as you look for your next collectible piece. God bless y'all and thank y'all for watching.